Hello everyone, Rich Whitehead, Mayor of Pelotas, coming to you with the message from the Mayor. It's been a couple months since I've had the opportunity to speak with you and we've had a lot going on. We've had the election, we've also had uh, a key employee turnover. Samantha Bayless has moved on to another organization and we looked high and low for a great events coordinator and we found one in Vanessa Vasquez. She's joined us and is taking care of uh, important events such as uh, our July 4th celebration, our upcoming Christmas parade, as well as market days, and of course, handling all of our uh, social media and making videos such as this. So welcome aboard and appreciate you coming on. Well, uh, we had an election here recently and I appreciate and thank you very much for your confidence in me and in electing me once again as mayor. Uh, the first time around uh, we had a significant uh, victory with 72% of the vote and this time even a larger percentage and uh, that just speaks volumes that the people are getting involved and having their voices heard and uh, really have endorsed what we are doing here at City Hall which is being fiscally conservative, being better managers of our money, doing more with less. We've built up our savings, we've cut property taxes, we've been able to add police officers as well as increase uh, wages for our city workers. We are doing more with less and uh, appreciate all the comments and the support. Look forward to this next two years and serving you well. Of events coming up, of course, first Saturday of the month brings market days and this will be the last market days of our summer hours. Uh, we've been going from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. because of the heat. Uh, it's really rough out there, four to five o'clock. Uh, in the summer hours, so uh, we've been going from 9 till 3. Uh, in September, we'll be resuming our regular hours, which will be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come out and join us, have a great time. Of course, you know the drill. We have about 200 vendors, live music, uh, great food, great opportunity to come out with your friends and family and just enjoy buying unique gifts. Get ready for Christmas, shop early. Uh, additionally, we do have movie nights. Uh, some people thought we had canceled them. We had not canceled them. Although there have been very low turnout, so that was one of the reasons why we wanted to make sure that we were responsible with our money. Uh, back in the day, going back uh, 10, 15 years, uh, there used to be four or 500 people that would show up. Uh, over time, that novelty had worn off a little bit and we were down to about 25 or 30 people and it just really wasn't cost effective to do that. But we do have music nights and we do have two movie nights, just we want to make it a special event so that uh, you can bring your family out. Uh, we are having our first movie night will be on September 15th where we'll be showing the Super Mario Brothers movie. And then on October 27th, we'll be hosting a Halloween event, again with our Holotus Area Community Band, and we'll be showing a Halloween themed movie. Looking forward to that uh, time with your family. Finally, we are in budget time. We're getting ready to prepare for the end of our fiscal year, which ends September 30th, start of a new year, October 1. This is where we're wrapping up all of our planning for next year and uh, really kind of seeing the results of how we did financially this year. I'm happy to report, but by the time you see this video, we will have had our first budget meeting uh, for the public, which happens on uh, or happened on Thursday uh, the 3rd and uh, where we discussed all our reserves, how they've increased. I had a five-year plan to bring us from two and a half months worth of reserves up to nine months worth of reserves. My plan was to do that over four years and we are actually achieved that in just two years. So we're very excited about that. On top of that, we are adding police officers and adding two more police officers as well. And we're discussing all of these budget items uh, on the third and we'll again uh, on the second meeting of August to be having a, an additional meeting and then of course uh, finalization in September. Uh, so if you have some concerns, issues, come on down to city council meeting and uh, uh, get your input in. Uh, I'm happy to say that uh, as we have shared with uh, the public on city council meeting on the 3rd that uh, we are entertaining another decrease in property taxes. So that will be three years, three consecutive decreases in property tax rate. So uh, we're excited to bring this information and uh, uh, we'll go forward from here. 
Thank you again for your support. Look forward to talking to you again next month in September when we will be getting back to school. We are going to put out a public service announcement concerning the road construction, especially as school gets ready to get back. Uh, just briefly, I've been working with Chief Moreland who's been sitting on the tech stop meetings and uh, they are working on the turn lane. They are, they've got forms up there for the new curbs. They will be putting back uh, traffic in the same pattern as what we are used to, even though that will be temporary, but uh, they're gonna gear up and are making preparations for getting back to school so we make that transition as, as uh, easy as possible. I know it's been a uh, difficult time. Uh, while we're talking about textile, let me finish up by saying this. Uh, the intersection at uh, Bill Miller's uh, and uh, Bandera Road has proven to be exceptionally difficult. There was a lot of limestone issues that ran into this spring. Uh, we lost a couple of months uh, due to some difficulties there and figuring out exactly how to work with the limestone there and uh, the lines that had to be laid. Uh, on top of that, I'm sure many of you remember the massive water break that we hit. Uh, the, not us, the construction crews had hit with TxDOT and so we are set back a couple of months and right now they're anticipating uh, around the end of April, beginning of May as a completion date. So bear with us as we get this wrapped up and uh, get traffic flowing through town. Uh, be safe out there and watch the lane changes. Mm -hmm.